guys, Zyke here, and welcome back to another episode of Cave Factory with me. Hello. I can now check off our basic automation or processing because I have made it to where it automatically sorts everything into our system for chests and doors. So, boop. Yay. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I did for that, just so y'all know. So, I ended up using both of my water wheels that we uh, created in between episodes, of course. But, oh, actually, I'll do it later. Okay. I was going to grab some stone because that'll make it easier. But what I did over here is so we already... All right. Let me start with them getting... Okay, I get a little ahead of myself here. So we had the problem of the gems and the different types of stones and stuff were not being filtered out of this. It was just sitting in the chest and not being filtered out. So I figured what was best is actually do the opposite. Just don't have it coming into a chest then be filtered out. Just have it to filter directly off of the line into a chest. So it's the same filters. This one filters all the different types of stones and gravels, puts it into the chute and straight into the trash can. And then this one will take all of the gems, lapis, you know, that sort of stuff. Puts it into this chute, puts it into this oak chest. And then this will go into a chute down here that, I wonder, that's not what I wanted. I forgot that's how that worked. Um, that goes down here into, ooh, hello, a little conveyor system. So it's going to go down into the chute and then it goes a little catty cornered or diagonally, whichever way you would like to say that, and onto this conveyor belt. And I'm using this water wheel. So it's just one water wheel for this one. Uh, might be a little too much, but you know, it works. And then what it'll do, it'll follow down here and be shot down into there. Now, above me is also where all of our ingots have been going. So if I go ahead and run back to show you guys that, I would like out. Okay. So over here, I have it now. This barrel was just floating, and now I have a chute going down. So now we have this chute and that chute will both uh, go down into that hole. And that hole will lead us to our storage area. So let me go ahead and run down there and grab, show you guys. Um, I'd rather not fall down the hole. It's a long drop and it hurts. <laughs> well, actually, it's too late now, but I want to test something later. So if we go over to here, and if I go look into here, you can probably see a couple numbers going up. You see there's a bunch of lapis that's currently being put in. Um, what it is, is if I go ahead and break these two blocks here, it goes into back here. Look, I think that's civil, sil silver. Um... So what it is, is I have a water wheel. So that chute goes down to here. I have it. I didn't ask for you. Oh, it's because I have my magnet on. Got to be careful with all these. You can't have your magnet on. So I have it dropping down. It goes into this chute just to make sure it catches it. And then it goes onto this mechanical belt. And I have this mechanical belt powered by this water wheel. And then it goes down into here. So this mechanical belt here is actually just a tad too long. So it's actually two that's connected here and here. And the best way I figured out to, well, it might not be the best way, but it's the best way that worked for me uh, to have this all powered just using the one water wheel is I put some gearboxes down. So this is where this one ends. I put a gearbox here and then here. And this one connects to this conveyor belt. Since there's two, it switched it around to make this go forward. But I couldn't put another gearbox here because it would make this one go backwards. So you had to put two more just to keep it there. So that's why it's this odd little shape. But it made sure that everything's going the same way and it's all going at the same speed. So... I think I'm a winner at that. So all it does is it drop down, takes this, and then it goes all the way over here into this brass funnel to put it into this barrel and then put it in the item, item hopper and the item hopper goes directly into our drawer controller. So everything is technically being automatically sorted in a chest and such. Now I did discover that the copper that that machine makes is going to be the, is going to be the copper from Create. Um, and unfortunately, the copper that I've been making using the smeltery uh, from Tinker's Construct, it makes the copper from Tinker's Construct. So I have majority of that, but I've decided I'll just put this over here. What I'll probably do in the long run is just scooch everything over one or at least just replace something or another so I could have the two coppers next to each other because it's gonna it would be a pain to try and always take this copper and switching it over. Or, like, I could take that copper and switch it over to the Create crop Copper. But I have 448 blocks worth. <laughs> Excuse me, that's quite a bit. 
And that would take me a bit to autocraft. So it's like I could do one or the other, but for right now I'm not going to bother with it. Uh, but yeah, so this is a great little system and it works very well. So as long as I just have it keep running, it won't fill up and it's all good to go. So I haven't had any issues so far with it clogging up or anything like that. Um, so I'm not too worried. I'm going to grab 16. There we go. So I'm not too worried about leaving it running. Now, I did freak myself out earlier by accident. Because uh, sometimes Minecraft just likes to freeze on me. And usually it's not a big deal. It's just for like a couple seconds or whatever. But whenever I'm doing a machine that can take a lot on a computer or the, the server, whatever you want to say, because it's a single player server, but... Uh, I get a little freaked out that I'm going to lose it, but it froze for like a minute, but then it got went back and I haven't had any issues since, but um, I don't think I will. This goes pretty quickly, and like I said before, I could speed it up adding some more of these fans, and I can also make this side faster if I were to disconnect it from that and have like another water wheel or windmill over here, because I have the space for it, so that way this will go a little faster, because this is actually the only part that clogs, because it can hold a ton of different types of nuggets, but each nugget type, it'll only hold 16 worth. And it won't actually, this part won't go down until there's enough room on here for it to spit out the one ingot it made. It won't store more than one ingot at a time. Um, well, yeah. So it, I kind of do need to make this part faster because it clogs up. But the good thing is, is this part is the only part that visually clogs up. Uh, what stays in the depot will stay in there until this part is clear. And then it won't even put anything into the depot from this chest until it's clear. And as you can see, there's actually not a lot in the chest right now, and it's a double chest. So it can't really get clogged very quickly. Like I said, it gets a little clogged technically, but I would just need to make this part just a tiny bit faster, like I said, with either another of the... How'd you get up there? And where'd you spawn from? Alright. Um... Another one of those, or I could make another water wheel, because neither of those are hard to make. Hey, buddy. Ah! You dropped quick. Okay, I got it. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super happy we got all this done, so I can just let it keep going forever. I Like I said, the only thing I have to be careful of when I'm up here is to not have my magnet on. Because it gets a little funky when I do that. <laughs> but that's okay. But otherwise, I could just keep it running. And as far as I'm aware, because I've been... um. Just for speed's sake, I've been using the smeltery to just try to go through what I have in my uh, dank null. Null? No, just dank. What I have in my dank right now, so that way I don't actually have to, like, use this. Like I said, I could just turn the top off and throw a couple things in there, but I, I do worry about things despawning, because I think it... Even if it's technically in the machine, I fear that it despawns a certain amount. I'm not 100% sure, because the crusher... I mean, I, I haven't done... I haven't googled it. But with the Crusher, I mean, I, I don't know if it has, like, a max limit for how much it can hold. Because I've thrown, like, four stacks in it at a time, sometimes more. But I don't feel like I always get those back. Like, I don't feel like it fully processes them. So I think somewhere it despawns, even though it's technically in a quote-unquote machine. I'm not 100% I'm not sure on that, but that's just what I'm assuming here. But like I said, I, I can always make this faster if I feel like it's getting clogged up at any point. But we finished it, so that makes me happy. <laughs> So that's one of the challenges. So there's three more to go in this particular chapter. Uh, two of them I don't think we can really touch at the moment. At least especially the Nether Stars for days. Because this has to automate Wither Killing. And I'm not sure how to do that. <laughs> so if I Google, like, there's definitely um, blocks that I can use. There's these bamboo spikes of Wither, but that's not exactly what I'm looking for either. Not 100% sure what how it wants me to, get, like, make an automatic... Matic Wither Killer. I haven't gotten that far. The only thing I can think of is, like, maybe there's something in Create that can cause damage to animals. And it would do something like that. But I also do have, like, um... What is it called? Mob Griefing on. I don't usually turn that off, because it kind of gets rid of the point of creepers. <laughs> but, uh... So I'm not sure how to do that quite yet, but it doesn't say I have to use um, create. It just says to automate it. But I don't think we're quite at that point yet, because I don't think I have any wither skulls or anything, and that would take me a while. And I don't, I don't even know, remember if we found another fortress. I know we found a 
the piglin stuff, whatever that one's called. But I don't remember if we found another portion. It's been a little bit since I've been in the nether. <laughs> um, the other one is to create chocolate. So let's make a chocolate river slash lake. So it's not even we have to automate chocolate. I just have to make enough chocolate to make a river slash lake. Which would be interesting. So it's wanting liquid chocolate. And I did talk to you guys. I did want a like river. Not like, kind, yeah, kind of like a river. Because I was thinking if I had stuff up here, the water would go down into this. And this would kind of be like a little basin for a river. I don't know if I would necessarily want that made out of chocolate. But it does want us to make chocolate. And this is a create object. And the way to make it is through either a bar of chocolate. But I feel like that would not that that's kind of I mean yeah you just need chocolate for that so it's just milk cocoa beans and sugar we have sugar i can get cocoa beans the only thing i don't have right now is milk because i don't have well that's concerning <laughs> i mean calcium is calcium but i don't think liquid calcium is just milk um okay so i guess i can melt skeletons that's a new thing to me but I don't really have a cow. So milk's a little hard to come by. But otherwise, it's not actually a too difficult of a recipe. Oh, I just would need to put that... I would need the blaze thing. And I don't really... I'm not going to bother to look at that right now. But the one that we could do right now, but I think I'm going to wait on a little bit because we literally just did an automated process, is the automatic kelp farm. Um, because also we would need a lot of water to do that. And I'm not sure how well... I would assume since it wants me to use create... Yeah, um, create would work underwater just fine, but I'm not 100% sure, because kelp does have to be grown underwater down there. But I think I'll do that at some point. I just want to I just want to move on to the next chapter, though, because the ore processing did take quite a bit. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the factory portion. So we got past basic automation, technically, um, and we're going to move on to the factory. So this is where we start getting into immersive engineering, and it wants us to begin with coke brick. So it says check JEI for the possible ways of getting clay. There are a couple of them. And then it says to build a 3x3x3 three by three by three cube and right click middle, right click the middle cube with a hammer. So this is just to make a coke oven, which will get us coal coke. So to make coke brick, it's a pretty easy recipe for the most part. All it is is clay balls or clay, though it gives you the same either way, so it'd probably go with the clay balls, bricks, and uh, some sort of sandstone. Doesn't have to be red, it just needs to be sandstone. So this goes into our problem of I don't have clay. So I'm gonna try to figure out. So we did get clay at one point because we can use blood magic to get it. Now we did discover that if I use the tank. No, was it the tank? I don't remember. What was I using? Do I have any clay left? I have five. Let's see. Uh the water sigil. It takes 350 life points. Where if I just use a bucket of water, it only takes 50 for the same item. So we either have to be annoying about it and use a water bucket, or... Now, I did get quite a bit of blood earlier. Or I can just make another one of these fans and use sand and just get a 25% chance of a clay ball. But then that goes into our issue of how do I get sand. Um, and right now, the only way I can really get sand is if I put gravel into a grinder. Or the crushing wheels, technically. And I don't have more crushing wheels. <laughs> I'd have to create some more. But we do have the mechanical crafting up. And this isn't a difficult recipe. Hmm. Because the only other way that we can go about getting clay is if we went into mana. But not really because it's that. Let's see. I don't know what a Terra Cube is. And I don't know how to get a hold of that. Yeah... So I think right now just our best bet is going to be for the water bucket. So we're going to need 27 of these. And it's by 3. So we only have to do this recipe 9 times. But we need brick and clay balls. So it's 8. 9 times 8, 72. So. We need a stack plus 8. Yeah. So we need a stack plus 8 of clay. I have <laughs> so that's gonna be interesting and then we need sandstone but i only need to do that nine times like i said we should yeah we should have enough sand because i just need this to be a nine yep so sand's all clear it's just the clay that's the problem so i'm gonna put that there i still have things in my inventory 
Uh, I guess I'll go. Oh, I do have a wither skeleton skull. I forgot. That's where you went. I thought I lost these. I had to make more. I guess my. I guess this would automatically, if it was a new item, just put it in here in random. So I think that's what happened. Well, no, I put the die there, didn't I? Yeah, I put that die there, but I did not put the shafts there. Huh. Well, that means that won't get clogged because new items will just automatically go into an empty space. That's really nice. All right, let's get some clay. <laughs> so what I need to get clay, like I said, is I do need a lot of sand and it's two. And I said a stack. Well, essentially it's just the same amount as long as I have the water for it. So I do have that and I can get some more buckets. And I can make even more buckets if I feel like that'll be a little bit more convenient. I'll make two more just to make an even number of five. How about that? Now, I did make some more blood as I was needing uh, rotten flesh to make string so I can get more sails, or more wool for the sails. So I should have a, a bit of blood. I should have a bit of blood. Let me look. And I did eventually turn that off up there. Uh, right now, I only have that much in there, but how much? I put a lot into the division sigil. 2,000, or 22,734. That helps. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. I don't know how that turned into two buckets of water. This might actually not work as well as I'm hoping. I need a hole. I need a hole. Just leave it at that. I need a hole. It's gonna be a funky hole. Because I only have... Doo, 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 doo. There we go. Bucket. I'm gonna have to do this a lot. So it's just this, and then oop, my blood orb. Now, thankfully, it'll do it for me. Oop, I ruined the process. Okay. <laughs> so thankfully, it'll do it for me. I just ha I it has to be one bucket at a time, and that's the unfortunate thing. Because I'd love just to put this in here. But it doesn't quite process it. Now, like I said, I could just put the water sigil in here, but it uses a lot more life points. And I only have so much, but, you know? Because, what, it's 350 per? So I could do three for a thousand. Yeah, it would suck up all of it. If I'm doing that math right. Which I could probably not be, but that's okay. Uh, you know, I'll do it for these three buckets and then I'm gonna stick it in there and see how long that lasts before it tries to kill me. Because I could just go back up there and turn the zombie machine on and just keep, keep chilling with that for a little bit. Because it does spawn in quite a bit of zombies. Oops. Two 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 eight four. Two one nine three four. We'll see how long that goes. Cause I just needed to go twenty five more times. <laughs> Will it be enough? It should be. I would imagine it being. So we just need enough clay, so then I need to smelt half of it into bricks. And then we'll do that. And it'll give us a hammer for free, and then we just gotta smack it down somewhere. Now I'm thinking, for now, I'm probably going to do something similar like I did with the create mod, is just kind of have the stuff laying about. And then once I kind of get settled with uh, at least the basics of it, I'll build a building for it. Because what I'll need to do for this particular area is I'm going to have to dig that way a little bit. I could do one of two things. I could do similar to this and build underground over here. But if I'm kind of wanting a lake area here, I can't exactly use this. Now what I'll probably do, because I have this path going, this path will go this way, but I'll probably have it skirt going around this edge too, so that way there will be a path up this way. But for the most part, this area, I imagine being kind of a mini waterfall going down into here, and this this whole area will be kind of a, a, 
a lake ish. Um, but that way, there'll be two different ways up, so you don't have don't have to particularly use the, those stairs to always go up to the top. You can just run straight through. That's my idea, at least. Um, but I believe this building would probably go up there a little bit, if not at the top of like this area, because like I, I've told you guys this before, for the farm stuff, I kind of want it over there. So like when I do make the automated uh, kelp farm, I kind of want the kelp. Alright, it's just like one thing is like kelp is a crop. It's not something you eat, but something you make. So I kind of want it with the other food stuff, or just crops in general. But at the same time, it kind of makes sense to have it in the create building because I already have power and such there. But also, this is an underwater situation. So I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to put that. I'm probably still put. I don't, I, you know, I'm not making any final decisions quite yet. But that's where my thought process is going. But I do need to dig all of this out first. Because um, I still have a bit. Because I still... So, what it is, is I still have a lot of wall to dig out. I think I'll leave the wall texturing for last. Because I think I mentioned to you guys, I want to, like... The ceiling needs to be textured, and the back needs to be textured. Not textured in a way I mean of different blocks. But just the way that it's built out. So it's not just these straight up and down, like... Literally carved out <laughs> pieces of wall. So that way it looks more cave-like. It's just a matter of, like, doing it. But I think I'm going to do that last, so that way I can at least have all of the buildings and the space that I need. Because I don't want to, like, spend time making part of the ceiling pretty or part of a wall pretty for me to go, ugh, I need more room, I need to completely dig this out anyway. Um, and then basically having to repeat the whole process over. So, because that, that would be a little sucky. So I think I'll do something along those lines. I still need to work on this pillar. I still need to figure out where I'm putting that other pillar. Did I... What happened? Oh, I'm just full of clay. Okay. <laughs> I was like, did I run out of blood? How am I not dying? Also, these grow to the ceiling now. <laughs> They're quite tall. Um, ooh. Hang on. I had gold or something going on over here. Yeah. Oh, it, that's great. It didn't make me extra. Uh, this one... <laughs> I just shove things in here and hope for the best. Anyway, I probably need to fill that up with. There we go. Awesome. So that wasn't too bad on my... It took about... It took half. I could take what's already in here, though, and just shove it in the blood orb. That'll help a little bit. Yeah. So I'll just need to come over here and stand next to here and put some more blood in the system, and then we'll be okay. So what we need to do now is I'm going to put the silver back up because I don't need to have it being worked on right now. And I'm going to go ahead and throw half of this half of this clay into the system. Or not into the system, into a furnace. So that way it can go because I need exactly half. Right? Because that'll make 16... Wait, did I do my math wrong? Or no, that did something weird. Nine times, yeah. So let's just split you here and here. Okay. And then we'll save this. And that'll go with the sandstone. And next episode, we'll go ahead and build that and start working on a couple more of these quests. And I think it'll be really nice. Because we're at the end of this episode. Oh yeah! This also went really far, but it didn't keep going, so I don't think the whole coal trick that I was thinking of works, unless it's because I was out of range. But as I say goodbye, I'll just run down this here and see. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you have any tips, tricks, or anything like that, please put it down in the comments below. I always greatly appreciate it. Um, like I said, I think in between episodes, I'm going to go carve out a little bit more space and uh, just start working on that sort of project. Hang on. I'm going to break this all. If this doesn't light up everything, I'll fix it later. I'm just trying to get it where most things don't spawn, but also how far did my machine go? Oh, it's still going! It's just because I was out of range! Okay. Well, that's kind of sucky because I would have to follow it, but that's okay. So that's good to know that the coal in the- so the coal in the system does work. That's- that's- that's nice to know. Alright. Well, I'll leave the left episode off there, finally. <laughs> um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!